I watched this anime about a year ago, and uh, I had absolutely no idea what I was going into when I watched it. My brother just kind of said, hey, watch this fucking anime. And I was fucking horrified. <laughs> this, this, this anime is fucked up. Like, amongst the child, you know, suicide bombing, and the dog being beaten to death. I think I've just gone totally numb. In absolutely no goddamn way was I prepared for this horrific edgelord clusterfuck of sadness and death. I... I've seen some fucked up shit in anime. I've seen some stuff that's made me really uncomfortable. But this... For some reason, just made me extremely uncomfortable the entire time I was watching it. I didn't think that was fucking possible. Like, Goblin Slayer's first episode or whatever made me pretty uncomfortable, and that's why I just won't touch it. But this, I watched it all the way through, and the entire thing made me uncomfortable. But I couldn't stop until it was too late and it was over and I was sitting in my chair with utter dismay and despair. Basically, so I can save you the trip, Elfin Lead is a show about these girls that are called Diclonius. And what they are is basically a race of humans or human-like beings with horns on their heads that have invisible tentacles and can, you know, insta-kill fucking everything with them because the tentacles are invincible. And invisible because they vibrate at such a high speed that they cut through literally fucking everything they touch. So we follow Lucy, who escapes from her prison and gets shot in the face. So she now has two split personalities. One of them, Mew, an inept retard with Asperger's, can do literally nothing but say her name, Mew, and whine about Coda, who is the main boy. And then Lucy is a murderous fuckwit who's in love with Coda. But the thing is back a while back, what Coda doesn't remember because, you know, shock and whatever, his father and his sister were murdered by Lucy because Lucy thought that she was going to abandon her. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. So yeah, child murder and whatever aside, then after that, when all is well and good in the world, and they kill all the big beds, or at least some of them, Lucy just kills herself. Yeah. There's two other main Diclonius that were shown. There was Nana, who is basically Lucy, but not fucking insane and likes people. And then Mariko, who has 50 tendrils, murders things whenever she wants to, sits in a wheelchair, and then blows the fuck up. Okay, I may have made that joke a few too many times, but I wasn't expecting child boom boom to happen, all right? I probably should have, considering how fucking ridiculously odd the anime I was watching was, but child explosions didn't cross my mind, I'm sorry. All in all, this anime has some good things, it has some good characters, it has some nice animation, and it has some fun voice actors for both the English dub and the sub. But the thing is, it's a little too edgy, and the story there is kind of lackluster. The ending, albeit Lucy dying so that there's no more Diclonius that come from her because she's the alpha, it feels very, very lackluster and boring. You do not feel fulfilled when you finish this anime. You only feel sad and confused. <laughs> so give it a watch if you're interested, but you don't necessarily have to watch it. Like, it's not a must-see. You know what is a must-see? Fucking Demon Slayer! <laughs>